What's good, YouTube? Let's go just bug it. I'm gonna see drop something. You got it. My bad. I um I'm driving around right now on the job and I want to do my prediction on this DeMarco versus on this DeMarco versus Broner fight. And what I want to say, I first had to go do my research. See, a lot of people, they want to do their their uh, prediction on this fight, but they don't know that much about DeMarco, you know. The true diehard boxing fans know about him, you know. And I finally had to go do all my research. I watched about six fights, recent fights, to see if um, DeMarco is that worthy to take down someone like Broner. And um, it's going to be a fight, man, you know. This is going to be a fight, a clear fight of being, you know, technically sound. This is going to be a great fight to determine, you know, the sweet science of boxing because neither fighter likes to get hit. You know, both fighters are careful. And the thing about this is this. I'm going to start off with DeMarco. The advantage is, is that Broner hasn't faced anybody like DeMarco yet, you know. DeMarco, he's careful with his shots. When he throws his shots, he is more than guaranteed that they're going to land, okay. Another, excuse me, another advantage that DeMarco has is that he's a counterer. He's a great counterer. Um, a lot of people don't run up on this dude because, you know, he's he's a he's a great counterer. <laughs> um, I think he was facing George Jose Al Alzac, some shit like that. That nigga was facing, and every time this nigga really wanted to punch, he was um, the opposite dude, not the Marco. You know, um, Jose Jose. Every time he would punch, he would end up squaring up and missing. And it will leave him wide open for a counter, you know. Um, Broner does this a lot, too. But a lot of times he connects, you know, as far as missing. Broner, Broner connects with his, even though he's squared up at the end. But let's say he doesn't connect, you know. Let's say he doesn't connect. Let's say he doesn't connect and um, Broner catches him with a counter. Now, you saw what happened in the very opening of the fucking the Molina fight where Broner ended up, or DeMarco ended up catching Duke with a very nice counter, um, you know, that pretty much did numbers for the rest of the fight, you know. Um, Broner hasn't fought anybody actually taller than him either. A lot of times Broner has fought, he's always fought somebody who's been smaller than him. So he's not really that intimidated by the size, you know. It might boost the confidence level for DeMarco, because he is taller. He, he'll be able to look down on Broner, you know. Broner's going to have to swing up to catch up to um, DeMarco. You know, his jab is going to have to be sort of like sort of like Floyd facing Corrales, you know. You're going to have to aim a little higher for your jab, and you're going to have to have a, a longer reach. I need to find out what Broner's reach is. Floyd's reach is 72. DeMarco's reach is 71, which is a real good advantage. I wonder what Broner's reach is. <laughs> But, uh, if you if you just look at it on paper, you're looking at two great counterers. I mean, DeMarco's a beast at countering. He has power in both hands, which I can't say the same about, um, I can't say the same about Broner with. I feel that as far as power is concerned, I definitely feel that DeMarco wins in that category, you know. There's nothing wrong with saying that. It's speaking the truth. Um, now, now, the thing that Broner has over DeMarco is that he is just by far more athletic. You know, even though he might square himself up and even though he might take chances that might not be successful, he is more than athletic enough to get out the way. You know, I noticed that. It's, if we're talking speed, then Broner wins that category. If we're talking quickness, Broner wins that category, you know. 
Um, DeMarco's good, but he's definitely nowhere near as fast as Broner is. And, you know, DeMarco, he has, he's, he's down there, but it looks like all the guys he that I saw him face, you know, he was, they weren't nowhere, they're not as fast as Broner, you know. Um, Broner is a great counter too. He utilizes that check left hook more than anything as far as his counter is concerned. Um, Gambino pointed it out to me that it's a little wide, which it is. And when Broner gets somebody hurt, he goes a little wild sometimes, which he does. But, um, you know, he's been he's been successful to this point. He's been knocking out dude after dude. Um, it's going to be a phenomenal fight. I wish I could have got to the fight. They wanted 75 um, for the seat. And by the time I got to it, there was only two seats left. Damn it. There was only two seats left, um, you know, that could have been purchased. And who knows, they were um, up in the nosebleed section. So, you know, I just watch it on my phone or watch it on the computer um, that night to, you know, because I'm really excited for this fight. This fight is definitely going to be a fight, like I said, of pure the, the sweet science of boxing, which is to hit and not get hit. Let me see if I can hit you without you hitting me, you know. And both guys don't like to get hit. Both guys are very careful on their fights. I mean, on, yeah, on their, you know, their approach. Um, especially Broner. I mean, if we're going to talk about who's more careful, who's more accurate, Broner wins in that category, you know. I saw DeMarco throwing a lot of uppercuts. And he wasn't really connecting with any of them, you know. Whereas Broner connects. He definitely did against Escobedo, you know. Um, and I think Escobedo would be a a great fight for DeMarco. But right now, you know, oh, man, a lot of people are giving, are giving – Broner credit and not doing the research on DeMarco. So you need to go check him out. This is not going to be a walkthrough. Broner better not be thinking like Amir Khan, thinking he's just going to skip all around all over this dude. Because he's already talking shit like, oh, it's going to be an easy night, you know. Um, oh, this is easy work. It ain't going to be long. I ain't going to be running. I ain't going nowhere, you know. Bullshit. <laughs> From watching how this nigga fights, he's sort of like, he's like, if you had to put him in a category, he is more of a technically sounded fighter than Margachito, okay? Margachito, he, he fights sort of like the same approach, but he's more accurate, and his counter tactics are way better than Margarito's are. But he has like that same, you know, that same hop around, I'm from the motherfucking Chopping Woods era type of look. You know what I'm talking about. So, um, if I had to put it in perspective, um, this is going to be a great fight. I think that somebody's going to get knocked the fuck out. Um, I can't ride with Joker on this one. I'm going to definitely say Broner just because of his athleticism, you know? No matter how good you are, okay? Like, for instance, in school, in high school, no matter how good the kid was at basketball, he would never beat me down the court as far as getting to the hoop because I was just faster. You see what I'm saying? He can't train to be faster. You know, you can, but there's only a certain extent of how fast you can actually go. Bottom line, I'm just faster. You know, as far as just DeMarco or Broner, Broner is just faster. That's all there is to it. Broner is quicker. You know, I think his counter shots will be a lot more crisp and accurate than DeMarco's will. Because, you know, Broner doesn't like to take risks. So you, I don't think you're going to see as many counters from DeMarco that you're going to see from Broner, you know. DeMarco's going to take his risk. That's all there is to it. It's just, is he going to connect? You know, is he going to is he gonna wobble, you know? If Broner passes with flying colors, I mean, damn. You know, he can jump straight up to 147. You know, I'll go where the money is if that's the case. I know people are saying, clean out your division, you're young, da-da-da-da-da. I mean, if the fight, if if 50000 is sitting up at 157, or excuse me, if 500000 is sitting up at 147, this guy's offering 
two hundred thousand or you know two hundred fifty thousand right now, I'm gonna probably tell Bro to go get that five hundred thousand. You know, because he sort of shares the same outlook that. I bet I give y'all some view. It's just I ain't trying to get fired for none of y'all motherfuckers. It's just he 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 gives the same output that Floyd has, which is people are, are going to see. They're going to want to see you lose. You know, people want to see the top guy fall. Everybody wants to see Tyson fall. People want to see Roy Jones Jr. fall. You know, and then once they fall, they take away all the credit that this motherfucker has under him. You know. Um, so same thing with Floyd. If Floyd, they already, they already take away Floyd's credit. So if he ever fell, I mean, damn, it's, it's it's rock bottom for him, you know. And I think mentally, Floyd's not really ready. I think if Floyd ever touched canvas, he wouldn't know how to get up, you know. Just because Duke has never been down there, you know. Um, there's a lot of fighters who are like that. You hit the canvas the wrong way, you're not prepared to get up. <laughs> Because you've never been down before. I mean, shit. Broner might be the same way. You know, Tyson was that way. He never been down. Came across Buster, the big man Douglas. This nigga ain't know how to get up. I mean, it's true, man. So, if I had to put the fight, in my eyes, it's going to be a great fight. Um, Like I said, I would, def I would pick Broner because he's a little bit more athletic. You know, I don't think he will get countered as much as DeMarco will. I think DeMarco will get countered because, first off, he will take his, his leaps and he will end up – he's not fast enough to get back into defensive mode, you know. He's not. Um, that's one thing I noticed. He was – he's and he – the thing about this is, even though Broner hasn't fought someone that is as technically sound as DeMarco, DeMarco has not fought anybody as gifted as Broner is. Broner is very gifted. He has the God-given talent. I used to have a God-given talent of singing. I used to, I used to listen to Usher, Whitney Houston, who, whoever it was, and sing their song better than they were singing. And there's no lie, I got witnesses, you know. It was just a God-given time. I didn't have to train for this, you know. But, um, like I said, don't make this like a an American event where you're just going to overlook DeMarco because even though how easy Marquez was to Floyd, Floyd didn't overlook Marquez. He took it very seriously to say, I can get knocked the fuck out here, you know. DeMarco's not no champion for no reason, nigga, <laughs> you know. And then he just went above and beyond his expectations. So my my take on it, I feel I feel Broner's gonna get a knockout in this fight. I feel it might be a little bit earlier than what we're predicting as far as like a you know, a a tenth, eleventh round knockout. You know, I think it's gonna be more along the lines of a eighth and ninth round knockout because it all depends on the stamina too, you know. Broner should be able to have more stamina than DeMarco. And it just looks like stronger-wise, you know, Broner's, Broner's, Broner's more of a packed house than DeMarco is. Like I said, DeMarco resembles more of a margarito, where Broner resembles more of a Pascal type of fight. You know what I mean? As far as, as, far as muscle mass is concerned, you know? If they're only at 135, I mean, shit, that's not really that much of a upgrade to slow down Broner's speed. You know how you go up and, and wait, you your your punches aren't as fast. Just like, you know, Floyd up at one fifty four, he's not as crisp and as quick as he is at one forty seven, you know? So, um just going up to one thirty five, I mean, I don't think that Broner is going to lose that much in speed. You know, if anything he'll gain more because he is older. You know, he's a little bit stronger now. Um, so until he moves up to 147, the 154 range, Broner is, you know, Broner is definitely, Broner is still fast as shit, you know. But, um, I didn't want to go so long on this, but I definitely did want to get my output. Hold on. Hi. Can you be me up here again, stop? I cannot. I'm tied up with an escrow. What's going on? 
I'm going to need my help. Third attendance in GameStop said that uh, he wanted to know who has access to our tapes. We don't have no tapes. Watch. Send down to the security office. I'll be there in about five minutes. He said that the, uh, the cops and everything was here, but he just wanted to talk to somebody. Alright, just to follow, I'm going to be tied up for the next half hour, so I'll make it up there when I can. Simple. My bad on the job. Um, let me get my prediction. Like I said, I think he'll stop him earlier than assume. Then assumptions have been, you know, escalating around. I think Broner will beat him. I give Broner, honestly, I give Broner because I feel that, you know, just being athlete, like, like Sean Bay Mitchell was gifted, you know, against Floyd. He was just older. Floyd was younger, you know. Um, Corrales was gifted, you know. Castillo um, was a good fighter. He was just, you know, it's like the frame and the size of your body and what you have to work with is a plus sometimes compared to guys who are tall, lanky, have to throw a little bit farther than these short, quick guys, you know what I mean, who have just a little bit longer of an average reach, you know. So that's why I just feel that... um I could talk to him over the phone. 10-4. <laughs> I don't think she has to know her number. She has the number to know her one. <laughs> I told you. No. <laughs> I told you. Grab your pen and paper. Let me know when you're ready. I'll read it to you. See? Amateur. And she be acting like, ah, oh, man, don't, let me, don't get me started. I ain't going to say nothing about it. I'll be trying to be, you know what I mean, say what up to her shit. She be acting like that straight. 495-435-9185. Straight, bitch. Again, 435-9185. So, um, I think that, I think that Broner's athleticism is going to, is going to pull him out of this fight. I think that he, he can take a punch. Uh, people keep saying he can't take a punch. Broner's got clocked before. Um, as far as, like, stumble, you know, Florida's even got rocked before. As far as stumbled and really, like, a wake-up call, he has not experienced that. So, um, if he does here, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see somebody who has all the confidence in the world to really be on his back foot, you know. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if DeMarco catches Broner here a little, but I, I feel that Broner is wise enough to say, I'm just better than this guy, you know. I don't give a fuck how good your skills are. Bottom line is I'm a better boxer, and that's what I think he has to go with. I think I think Broner, what I, my bad, I didn't mean to keep talking, but, it, you know, other things come up when you think about it. I think Broner needs to apply his jab more. The difference between Floyd and Broner is – go ahead, man. The difference between Floyd and Broner is – Floyd had a jab where that shit was consistent. I don't give a fuck if you don't give him his credit, man. I saw the fights. I don't need your credit to fucking, so, you know, to to make it so it could be approved, you know. Um, Broner doesn't have the, the act. Broner has good accuracy, but he doesn't have the output that Floyd has. He doesn't swing off that much. Um, he's very... Very technically sound as far as like I want to be safe. Demarco's not like that. Demarco will swing, so that's why it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see somebody who doesn't like to swing much and might be forced to. You know, Floyd was forced in the Castillo fight to swing off because he knew, you know, this guy. Even though he's not hurting me so much, he is tagging me, and those are points that are going out the window. So you hit me once. Floyd will come back with a one, two, three, and then go on the defense. Hit me again, Floyd will come back, one, two, three, go on the defense. Just to have a more output. You see what I'm saying? 
even though, you know, both were connecting. Floyd has three punches compared to one that are connecting that might have pulled him out in the final rounds of that fight. I mean, go go back and watch that fight. You can determine that. This bitch ain't got no lights on. Dumb ass. That's a bus and a car behind it. No lights on. And I'm security. I don't even give a fuck. <laughs> See the car right here standing on the side beeping? Normally, I go around the whole mall once, and then I come back. If he's still there, I tell him to move. And this bitch was bad, too. I'll tell her to move. I don't give a damn. But anyway... Um, you know, that's my input on it. It's going to be a great fight. Two counter punches, two technically sound boxers are fighting each other. Um, if you don't know nothing about DeMarco, don't be ashamed to go watch some of his fights because he is a very active fighter, and he definitely lets his hands go, I would say, a little bit more than Broner does, you know. Broner waits for someone to mess up, <laughs> and DeMarco makes you mess up, so... It's going to be interesting, man. I'm excited for this fight. I'm excited for the fight for Cotto Trout um, because Trout is somebody who lets his hands go where Cotto sets up for his punches. So, ah, oh, man, you know. Tell me what y'all think. Finally got my prediction in. I might talk about this fight a little bit more as it gets closer. But we're just a week away, man. Um, a week and probably like four days away until this fight goes down. And this is going to be what's up. You know, because sky's the limit after this. If he hits this fight, if he wins this, if Ronan wins this, I mean, shit, he can basically call whoever to the table, and they will have no choice to come, you know. Um, people better not say that, oh, this was an easy victory for Broner after this, because they might end up doing that bullshit too, saying, oh, DeMarco was nowhere near on his level, you know. And if people feel that DeMarco, because my man, B, what's his name, Boxing Beats and Rhymes, he feels that, I believe Vasquez is the guy to beat Broner, not DeMarco. So some people already feel that DeMarco might be easy work for Broner, you know. But um, we won't know until you put out your videos, man. So don't be ashamed. Uh, let me get back on the on the patrol. Negative. Oh, you got lucky. <laughs> Thank you. So let me get back on the patrol, man. Let me know what y'all think. Comment on this. Let me know. You know, once you once you watch DeMarco's fights, you're going to be more in tune to say this is not a walkthrough for Broner because it definitely is not, you know. Um, DeMarco has what it takes to beat Broner. It's just he's not just he's just not athletically gifted, <laughs> you know. He's not as, as, as athletic as Broner is. Yeah, you want me to um, want to do a run real quick with me? I got guys standing in my parking lot looking suspicious. So you know what I do? I go say hello to somebody. Let's go say hello, shall we? Yeah, I'm coming over to buy you guys, man. What's up? Let's, let's see what they say. Mm-mm. What's good, fellas? You guys all set? You need help with something? Uh, he's all looking at my car. My girlfriend's on her way right now. She just, oh, uh, oh. Yeah, she's okay. Her, her. Gotcha. All right, man. If you need me, flag me down. All right, man. All right. What is this? My um flash? I didn't even turn my flash on. Turn that shit off. <laughs> See me inside my video. Come on, man. Turn, turn, turn my shit off. <laughs> All right, man. I'm out this bitch. I uh, can't wait to this fight. I might do another video right after this because there's a lot of shit to talk about this fight going down. I'm ghost, fellas. I'm ghost. I'm ghost. <laughs>